mind all pissed off. That's some bullshit. I see you think I'm fucked. I tell you that. Break my Italian number two. And you want me to? Cause here's the deal, people. And this is why most people in America who are angry and bitter and sad are. And here's why. There is the world that is, and the world that should be. Live in the world that is. Strive for the world that should be. Don't mix them up. See, in the world that should be, black people should wear hoodies wherever the fuck they want. In the world that is, you better check your shit, motherfucker. I'm not making up these rules. See how some of you got some comfortable talk. This shit is real. I'll tell you where it really came from. Right? There was a plane with a small jet. This really happened, by the way. The captain on the small... It's, it's the ones that land in Brampton. You know, the ones with the one seat and the two? By the co the one flight attendant, back in the back. You know what I'm talking about? Perfect. So this plane is flying. Captain needs to take the dump. Tell the flight attendant. She has to go in the cockpit, because two people have to be in the cockpit at all times. FAA regulations state. Captain goes to the back, gets stuck in the bathroom. Can't fucking open it up. Starts banging on the door. When the passengers hears it, remember, no flight attendant. So he goes to the front, knocks on the top of the door, tells them what the fuck's going on. You want to tell you what happened? They not only didn't open the door, not only did they not listen, you know what the announcement they made was? Buckle your seatbelt, we're landing the plane immediately. You want me to tell you why they did that shit? I swear to fucking God. The guy who tried to help out was Middle Eastern. I swear to fucking God. That's a true fucking story. And see how some of you are like, what would you fucking do if you were on the plane and you heard this?